Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of vanishing twin. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for more than three months. She had gone through several scans which show mild collection adjacent to the gestational sac. So she had got treatment for perisac or subcurrent collection. The patient was sent for evaluating that perisac collection. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound now. Here you can see an irregular cystic area at the anteromyometrium of the uterine body. You can see the surrounding hyperechogenic decidual reaction and there is no embryo inside. Here you can see the movement of something and this is the gestational sac where you can see a posteriorly growing placenta and fetus. And this is the separated cystic area. So this cystic area is the demised sac as you can see the hyperechogenic decidual reaction surrounding it. On previous scan, this cystic area was smaller in size and gradually it is getting increased and this decidual reaction was not visualized previously with transabdominal ultrasound. And here you can see the fetus here within the sac. And this is the demised one. This condition is commonly known as vanishing twin. So urinary bladder was filled and the overall surrounding region looks normal. The remaining fetus looks normal. And this is the demised sac. Here is the picture of the demised sac and this is a case of vanishing twin. So in summary, a 12 plus week sized single life intrauterine pregnancy is noted. An irregular cystic area with surrounding ecogenic decidual reaction indicating a distorted sac is noted and to superior to the regular gestational sac without any definite embryo or yolk sac inside. Now the question arises, what will be the prognosis in this patient? Fortunately, this patient is our hospital staff and we have the opportunity to follow up this patient. Let's see what we have got on next scan after a month. Here you can see the posterior placenta with a thick myometrial part known as buxton hick contraction. And here you can see the demised sac at the anterior wall. So it is still visualized as a small cystic area. So this is the case of vanishing twin. The patient had already appointed for another scan this month. So hopefully we can give you a regular updates about this case. This is the fetal femur and you can see the fetal head here. Overall, the fetal environment looks normal. So here's the picture of this distorted sac during this scan. Now the take home message. Twin pregnancy with demise of one is not uncommon case. So be careful about informing the patient about twin pregnancy in earlier gestations. Informing patient about twin depends on your country and the patient condition. Usually in general cases, we love to inform the patient of twin pregnancy in our practice at after 14 weeks or after the development of fetal spine, but we want to report it down as we have to inform the clinician about the current condition. Remember that this scenario may vary from country to country and from patient to patient. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it will help you. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.